One of the most popular plants showing up in landscapes throughout San Diego County is Sticks on Fire, also known as fire sticks or pencil cactus. The botanical name is Euphorbia teriucali, and it's one of the most toxic plants around. This beautiful plant requires little water and woos gardeners with its dramatic red and green stems. It appears harmless with no spines or sharp edges to warn people away. But humans and animals may be severely injured if they accidentally touch or brush up against the plant and come into contact with its poisonous sap. Note that the stems break off easily and exude a toxic milky sap. Dried sap may be on the plant at any time and is also very toxic. In frost-free areas of San Diego County, sticks on fire can grow up to 40 feet tall and 10 feet across, which means that if you live near the coast, you will be trimming this plant regularly and increasing your chances of becoming exposed to its sap. It's often planted in the wrong place, too close to a sidewalk or path, and near playgrounds or dog parks. Many people have ended up in a hospital emergency room while dogs are rushed to emergency vets as a result of accidentally getting the sticky sap on their skin or in their eyes. For maximum safety, sticks on fire should be planted at least 20 feet away from sidewalks or paths or where it can be seen but not touched. Children or pets should not play nearby. There are steps you can take to stay safe when gardening with this plant. Wear gloves, long sleeves, long pants, and eye protection. If the sap gets on your skin, wash the affected area immediately with soap and water and change your gardening clothes once you are done working with this plant. If the sap gets into your eyes, flush them out with clean water. And call 911 or go to your nearest emergency room. Plant it directly in the ground because it quickly outgrows a pot and once it does, it can be difficult to transplant without encountering the toxic sap. Once in the ground, fire sticks should be replanted every three years to avoid massive growth. Pruning should be done evenly from bottom to top to prevent toxic sap from raining down. Don't prune this plant into a tree because it gets top heavy and can fall onto you or your pets. The University of California Cooperative Extension Service in San Diego has developed a website to make it easier for the public to identify many drought-tolerant plants that are also highly toxic. While we do not recommend you use poisonous plants in your landscape, please refer to the website for safety measures that will protect you. We are concerned for your safety.